Um, my presentation is based on the, um, the education system and how it failed me, or perhaps how I failed the education system. Um, as a child, I drew constantly. Um, I don't have any photographs of me drawing constantly, so you're just going to have to imagine it while you look at this. Um, the, um, on my first day in primary school, the class was set the task of drawing a map. The teacher was so impressed with my attempt, she took me by the hand across the yard to show the headmaster. He then held it up in front of the class, and I was given a round of applause. That was my first day. I was highly encouraged all the way through primary school, and on my very last day of primary school, I had a solo exhibition of birds of the British Isles. I was in Britain at the time. Uh, it was stuck um, with blue tack and mounted on the walls of the classroom. I remember thinking how exciting it would be to have real art lessons when you go to secondary school. Unfortunately, for me, secondary school gave scant encouragement for the kids who liked to draw, and even my art classes was a disappointment. I wanted to draw people, animals, rockets. Instead, I had a teacher obsessed with the reflective qualities, the reflective qualities of cutlery. I found it difficult to be inspired by spoons. <laughs> In fact, even today, I try to avoid drawing a spoon. Um, there were other homework assignments. It wasn't just spoons. And despite being uninspired by art classes, I continued to draw at home. Occasionally, the art teacher would allow us to draw anything we wanted. I think she should have given me I, uh, an A-plus for Elvis, he's the one on the left. <laughs> um, I think it's fair to say my O-level results didn't set the world on fire. I really enjoyed English. Uh, I just didn't seem to be able to answer the questions in the way I was expected to answer them. I left school at 16, enrolled on a technical illustration course. This wasn't quite the art school I expected. I, I was one of the last years to study technical illustration the traditional way, using technical pens and ellipse guides. And from the first day, I knew I could never be passionate about this. I spent two torturous years studying perspective theory. I wasn't inspired, and I wasn't very good at it. In 1983, I also studied English at night school and managed yet again. In 1984, I studied English at night school and somehow scraped through with a pass. I left college in 1985. Technical illustration was not for me. I did eventually work out my own theory on perspective. My old tutor would probably have a heart attack if he saw it. But it works for me. I completely rejected my technical training. However, I feel I still it's still evident in my work today, and if I draw something, I tend to construct the object from the ground up. My attention to detail is also probably grounded in technical illustration, and hopefully very little else. Um, so what about the English O level, I hear you ask. OK. Um, I've been meaning to write a children's book for, for many years, and uh, I thought color was a good place to start. I'd like you to read an excerpt from my book, which I'm currently working on. With a little help from a wonderful little Irish publisher, I'm in the process of making this a more child-friendly book. Um, this is the middle section of the book. So uh, it's called uh, Understanding Primary Colours and Their Interpersonal Relationships, a working title. It's snappy. <laughs> Red was married to yellow. They had twin boys, red-orange and yellow-orange. They were quite bright for their age. <laughs> Uncle Blue was a regular visitor and very handy at DIY. He used to fix red pipes when yellow was out of town on business. <laughs> red had another baby. The neighbors would whisper behind Red's back as she pushed Baby Purple's pushchair down the avenue. <laughs> Yellow and Red argued bitterly for weeks after the birth. 
So one day, Yellow walked out. And in a surprise move, <laughs> move thing with Uncle Blue. <laughs> they can often be seen pushing baby green on the swings in the park. However, the tone darkened considerably the day Black came to town. Let's be continued. <laughs> yeah, thank you.